Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. We are in the workshop today taking a look at a bunch of new RC, uh, not RCs, ESCs that, uh, that we ordered here from off of eBay. These are OC Day 60 amp waterproof ESCs. Uh, they look very similar if not a carbon copy or if not manufactured in the same um, facilities as the um, as the Ghoul RC 60 amp ESCs and I'm gonna hold these two side by side so you can take a look uh, they're they're pretty much identical right um, the Ghoul RC was already a budget choice here I'm gonna give you guys all angles of this they're, they're they're pretty much the same ESC, right? Um, you can get these off of eBay for, for pretty cheap. And uh, both the Ghoul RC and the OC Day, the OC Day is even a couple bucks cheaper than the, uh, the Ghoul RCs. Um, they look pretty identical. Um, you know, uh, these are, let me just see here, the wires here are 14 gauge on both of them. These are the motor leads. Um, the wires going to the battery here um, look pretty similar as well. I mean, this one's a little bit dirty since we've been running it in our ruckus, but um, let's see here. We can see what's um, they're marked as 14 gauge on the Ghoul RC. Um, not marked here, but uh, pretty much the same diameter, so it looks like 14 gauge probably all around. Um, but uh, you know we, we've had a great experience with the the Ghoul RC one so far, minus the fact that we there's some debris currently stuck between the heat sink and the fan here, and one of the screws was was stripped. I'm not sure if that was from the previous owner of this ruckus, but um, really good budget choice. You know the these uh, these ESCs you can get uh, for just uh, you know a fraction of the cost of uh, of your name brand ESCs and. Usually I stay away from the, the non-name branded stuff just because, um, but uh, you know, the, the Ghoul RCs have been well rated as well as the OCD, OC Day um, ESCs on eBay. So uh, again, these two, uh, the previous owner uh, soldered on uh, Traxxas leads to um, stock it comes with the, the T-Type or you know, the Dean's connector. Um, so uh, other differences are the the leads have different colors here, um, so we've got you know light blue and yellow and orange, and then uh, on the OC day we have blue, uh, yellow and red. So um, again, probably m manufactured out of the same factories in China. Um, we'll we'll see how these uh, these end up working for us. Uh, so why we've got this all set up on the bench here, we're gonna go ahead and bench test all of these. ESCs just to make sure that they even work, right? So we, we ordered four of these. Uh, they took a, a couple weeks to get here from China, uh, which uh, you'll you'll need to expect. So you just need to plan out your your projects a little bit more. Um, we bought a batch of four. We're gonna we're gonna see how these work. So um, we removed the the ESC plate in our previous episode and just uh, walked through that a little bit. Not not a huge deal there, but. Um, uh, the the ESCs do come with uh, a little bit shorter. I shouldn't say horribly short, but uh, you can see here if we're going to try to run this into the um, uh, into the the uh, receiver box here on the ruckus, it's probably going to be too short. Um, which uh, you know the previous owner of this ruckus put on a, an ESC or uh, an ESC lead uh, servo extension here which is quite useful because we can just go ahead and plug into that versus removing the, um, uh, the cover every time we want to do some changes. So perfect for our bench testing setup. What does bench testing mean? It means you test something on the bench to make sure that it works. Uh, in, in real automotive terminology, uh, you have similar things. You'll, you'll bench test, let's say, a, uh, a master or slave cylinder for a, a, a braking or a transmission hydraulic system. So it's just a way to test it on the bench before you go through uh, the the um, the hassle, the time, 
and whatnot of actually having to do this when it's uh, mounted on a vehicle or you know real or RC or or whatnot. So we're just gonna hook up the servo lead, hook up our motor leads, and so there is a slightly different color. This is the Ghoul RC motor as well. So I'm just gonna you know, put this, hook this up, um, not permanently, but um, just a temporary arrangement. So I'll just hook up the, the leads. These are four millimeter bullets. So these won't work um, with a, a Traxxas motor They're using three and a half millimeter bullets. They're pretty close in size, but um, your connectors will fall straight out if you try to do that. And so we're gonna grab a, a battery and a radio here and, uh, and test some of these out. All right, so we just grabbed a smaller LiPo. This one is off of um, our Basiltech NX2, or HSP Grampus, as it's also known. Uh, the ESC was already on there. All right, so first impressions, the fan is actually a lot quieter than the, the Ghoul RC fan. I don't know if that's just because of the amount of use that's been put on it. I'm gonna move these other ESCs out of the way here. You want a clear bench when you're bench testing. And worse. And worse works. probably go through all the instructions but um, this episodes we'll go ahead and wrap this episode it's getting a little bit long but let us know what you guys think please like comment subscribe and we will catch you next time